We have another week of predictions ahead of us. The TPC finally here. TPC, I consider it's the beginning of the golf season. This is a big money tournament, prestigious tournament. Not million. a major, but should be a major. Twenty million the purse. And it's got the strongest field of the year. So yeah. It does. So finally here. Uh, I think, like you said, this is what everyone's waiting for. Yeah, this All is what everyone's waiting for. for. Now we, now the juices get flowing. Yeah. All right. So the past tournament we had, um, let's see, it was a pretty interesting tournament. Yeah, the Arnold It was, it was interesting. I mean, it's too bad you know Shampo couldn't uh, defend his title. He's hurt, and um, but yeah. yeah, all in all, it was a very, it was a, it was a well, well played tournament. I mean, um, yeah, it was very well played. A lot of people were in contingency towards it the It was, it was, it was right to the end. Scotty Scheffler came through. Scotty yeah. Scheffler, a rising star. Yeah, he is playing very well. All right, so let's go over my picks. My picks, I had Roy McIlroy. He finished tied for 13th. Roy kind of blew it for me. He was, had to start off minus start seven. Off for, yeah. And after that, he just went downhill. Yeah. Didn't, had, didn't, didn't improve any. His first round was his, his first round was his best round after that. Not, couldn't do much for me. Finished. Uh, finished tied for 13th, giving me five points. Then I had a Deki Maxiyama. Started off weak, ended up playing pretty well, finished pretty strong, finished tied for 20th. That gave me another five points. And then I had Jason Korkrak, which is, I don't know why I picked him. But not too I bad. like the swing, but uh, he's, you know. He finished tied it's for 26. It's more never swing, I guess, right? Yeah, he finished tied for 26. That gave me two points. So, so what did you end up for total points? 12 points total. 12 points total, okay. And go ahead, tell them the bad news about me. No, I mean, not bad news. John Round didn't play that good surprise. Uh, surprisingly, he usually plays pretty well every single time. John Rahm finished tied for 17th. He gives him gives you five points. Right, but yeah, but I picked John Rahm, Sergio Garcia, and Justin Rose. And yeah. Justin Rose didn't make the cut. So. Yeah. So John Rahm finished tied for 17th, gave you five points. Sergio Garcia finished tied for 38th, gave you one point cut made. Justin Rose, no cut, no points, gives you his total of six points, which brings your total to 29 points total because you had 23 points going into it. And my total points is 40 points because I had 28 points going into it. So I have 40, um, you have 49, what? 29. 29. Only 11 points. That's Only nothing. 11 points. It's easy, right? That's nothing. Look at this. When That's we started start this, you, you had 18 points. Oh, I know. Points. It's nothing. But what, 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 uh, what tournament 18. are we in? We're going to the what? The fourth? We're going to the yeah, fourth TPC. We're going to the fourth tournament out of 10. And the point total after 10 tournaments it's 40 is 40 29. Win. Yeah. Okay, 40-29. Right right All right. So I get to pick first this week. And I have a number of different ones I'm, gonna, I'm looking at. But my number one pick is Colin Morikara. That's BS. I picked that. I got. I. I. I'm using a different strategy here. Colin Morikara is my first pick. And why are you picking him? Because I. Why? Said because I what I did. Him. What I did was I picked a number of players that I'm going to pick, right? And then I looked at their stroke average, right? And Colin Morikara is at the lowest stroke average, so that's why I picked him. So Colin Morikara. You picked him because I said I was going to pick him. Oh, my God. I forget. All right, Colin Morikawa. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go with Roy McIlroy. Wow. Coming back with Roy. Roy, huh? Yeah, I think he'll have a good week this weekend. All right, so you're going back with Roy McIlroy. I'm going to come with uh, back with my second pick is going to be Cameron Smith. All right. I'll mark these down. So I'm going to go Cameron Smith, Colin McElroy, uh, Colin Morikara. Cameron Smith. Yep. All right, I'm going to go with uh, Justin Thomas. Justin Thomas. Ooh, that's a good one. Yep, I'm going to go with Justin Thomas. Okay, you picked Macro, so I can't pick him. All right, so I'm going to go. My third pick is going to be Patrick Cantley. Son of a bitch. That's what I was going to pick. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right, so. Why are you picking Patrick Cantley? Because he's, a, he's got the, uh, the next loss. Here's how I picked him. I picked a number of different players. I picked, say, seven different players. And I, I looked at their scoring average. So the scoring average are Colin Morikara, 69.1. Cameron Smith was second. You actually got some thought into this. Yes. Yeah. Cameron Smith was second, 69.4. And Patrick Cantley, well, actually, Roy McRoy was third, but Michael Pickmore, Iraq, uh, Roy McRoy, 
stuff to talk. And um, so then that left me with Patrick, Patrick Cantley. So these are the, those are my three picks. He actually did some research this week. Yeah, I did. I did a little bit of research. I got to kick your butt. See, yeah, who's I your gotta, third I got to start doing research myself. Who's your third pick? My top pick is going to be Colin Moore, Cal, Justin Thomas, Patrick Cantley, but he took two of my picks. So now I'm stuck. No amount of time. You, you, I'm you. going to go with Victor Hovland. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a good chance. But you know, surprisingly, Victor Hovland, he's, his scoring average is 70.2. So, but that's that's here or there because they play different courses. I mean, it's 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 something to go by, but it's you know it's not written in stone. Now we have to go into our long shot, long shot, which gives you 30 points only if they win. No other way can they get points. So I got two long shots I was looking at. Number one was Brian Harmon. Brian Harmon, I think he's due. He's going to come through, but then. Just looking through the, the players, I came up with this guy I never even heard before. Kid's name is Cameron Young. So I'm going to go with Cameron Young. That's a true long shot. So Cameron Young, why are you going Cameron Young? Because he has a good scoring average, and I've never never heard of him before until I was looking looking now. So, all right, I'm going to go with Harry Higgs. Harry Higgs, okay, that's good. I think he's due. I think Harry Higgs actually has a good chance of winning this. I'll give you thinking, Harry Higgs. I wasn't going to go with Will Zalatoris. Yeah, he's not a long shot. What do you mean? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Harry Higgs. I'll go Harry Higgs. Okay, so. Now I'm starting to question Victor Hovland. So you're picking Victor Hovland. You got mine down there? You're right, Mark Myself? Yeah, you got Kyle Moore, Counter, Cameron Smith, Patrick Cantley. Right, and Cameron Young. And you know what's a disappointment? This, this I got Roy McIlroy, Justin Thomas, Victor Hovland. He, Victor Hovland's always an he's he's got a good swing. He, he's a good player. He's always in contingency. He's always in contention. Always in contingency. Yeah. That's why I know that's about him. That's why that's why I picked him. Yep, contention. He's always yeah. in contention. And I got Harry Higgs, my long shot. What were you gonna say? Ricky Fowler didn't qualify for the TPC. Why didn't you qualify? Well, he, he's not winning enough. He's not playing enough. He's not. He's not. He's not playing well, apparently. He didn't qualify for the Arnold Palmer either or something. So, Ricky, man, let's get back on the ball here. Let's, yeah, sure let's get back on the ball. We like to see you out there. We enjoy watching you play golf. Let's get back out there and play some good golf. I thought he played in, he played, they played in the Arnold Palmer. No, he didn't play in the Arnold Palmer. No. He didn't make the cut. Well, maybe he didn't make the cut. Yeah, maybe he didn't make the cut. I think he made the cut. Okay, but anyways, Ricky, let's get back on the board. And uh, let's see your name on the leaderboard. Wow, that's surprising to qualify your TPC. They qualify, yeah. So I was reading on how they how they pick their players, like FedEx Cup point ranking, they get to certain exemptions for tournaments won here and there throughout the year and stuff like yeah. that. So wow, that must be pretty shocking to him. Maybe he'll get maybe wake him up. He needs to be woken up. All right, so he's not focusing on golf. Huh? He hasn't been focusing on golf. He's making a lot of commercials. Yeah, I mean he's a good player, but he, uh, you know sometimes you have to have the heart for it too. Something like Tiger Woods, who had the heart for it, he wanted to win every time he was out there. Other people are just going out there to make to make enough money to live a lavish life, and that's all they want. They don't they're not so interested in the wins and the in the, the majors, I guess. But anyways, to each its own. So let's do a recap. Who do who do you got? Who do I have? I have Colin Morikawa, Justin Thomas, Victor Hovland. I'm kidding. That's who you. <laughs> yeah. Now you got Colin Moore, Coward, Cameron Smith, Patrick Cantley, and Cameron Young as your long shot. I have Roy McIlroy, Justin Thomas, and Victor Hovland, and Harry Higgs as my long shot. All right, so that's what we got for this week. Please uh, leave I hope us. Colin Moore, Coward plays like crap. Cause I was gonna no, stop. Please leave. Uh, I'll probably get food poisoning <laughs> or COVID or something like that. <laughs> he's sore loser. He's a sore loser. He's winning. He still can't be happy. Anyways. Please leave uh, leave comments on who you uh, you oh, yeah, well, pick. Know you guys are gonna pick. Yeah. Yeah. It's very important to us. Yeah, and that so makes it even that more interesting. Yeah, we like to see how, how other people are thinking. Right. So, anyways, I guess this is the end of the day for us. Um, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And remember, when you hit a bad shot in golf, it gives you opportunity to make a great shot. It gives you opportunity to bounce back.